Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be learning about the Epicea plant or the flame, violet. This is a distant relative of the African violet but this is not the African violet. So the African violet and the Epicea have somewhat similar leaves but they have completely different flowers. The African violets are more clustered flowers and the Epicea has more tubular single flowers. So the majority of the Epiceas have red to orange colored flowers. So this Epicea that I have is called the Epicea cupriata. The name Epicea has come from the Greek word episkios, which means shady. So this is actually the most defining character of this plant that it is a shade loving plant and it can be easily grown indoors. You just have to provide it the right conditions and this will grow really well. Now let us look at the sunlight requirements that this plant will need. So it does not like really hot scorching sun because if you place it under direct sunlight then the leaves tend to burn. So it can be grown indoors as well. So you just have to give it bright light conditions and it will really thrive. A north facing window will give it more foliage and east facing window will give it more blooms but make sure that it gets bright sunlight. So let us look at the root system of this plant. So it contains these stolons or runners that you see in plants like strawberries. So what happens is these runners run on top of the soil surface and they create a new plant. So propagating, is, propagating this plant is quite simple. You can just break off the runners and you can grow a new plant. It can also be grown with the help of leaves. You just have to take off the leaves along with the node, take it off completely and then place it in a potting medium and it can grow. So either stem cuttings or with the help of runners or with the help of leaves you can grow this plant. So now let us talk about the potting medium that you guys have to use. The potting medium must be a well draining potting medium. This plant does not like wet feet. So if you are using garden soil, it contains clay and it holds a lot of moisture. So amend it with sand or even compost. The other thing about this plant is that the leaves tend to be in contact with the soil so if you have wet soil then the leaves will rot so avoid keeping the plant always wet give it some dry spells and then once you see the soil or the potting medium is dry that is when you need to water it and avoid overhead watering of this plant especially when it is indoors when it is indoors what you can do is you can have a tray of water and then you can place the pot on top of that tray and with the help of the capillary action the plant will suck up all the water. Another thing about this plant is it loves being fertilized especially during the summer months and during the rainy seasons but reduce fertilizing during the winter months because it will go dormant during the winter months. So I am using rainwater here because rainwater is considered one of the purest form of waters because it does not contain chlorine and other such impurities. So another thing about this plant is that this can be a very good addition to your shade garden. It can also be grown in hanging baskets because of its cascading nature. It can also be grown as a ground cover. So these are some of the few simple tips on taking care of this lovely plant with a lovely flower as well as a lovely foliage. So thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore and if you like my videos then please subscribe. Until then, see you the next time.